ఇంటర్మీడియట్ విద్యా రంగంలో అగ్రగామి మన ఎన్ఎస్ఆర్ ఇంపల్స్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఐఐటి జేఏఐ తిరుగులేని విద్యా సంస్థ ఎన్ఎస్ఆర్ ఇంపల్స్ హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ నా లెట్ అస్ కంటిన్యూ విత్ డార్క్ రియాక్షన్ నా ఇన్ డార్క్ రియాక్షన్ నా మోస్ట్ అండ్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ థింగ్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టడీ డిస్కషన్ సో లెట్ మీ రైట్ డార్క్ రియాక్షన్ అప్ లెట్ అస్ కంటిన్యూ విత్ ఫస్ట్ డార్క్ రియాక్షన్ ఫస్ట్ పాత్వే ఆఫ్ డార్క్ రియాక్షన్ వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ ఫస్ట్ పాత్వే ఆఫ్ డార్క్ రియాక్షన్ ఇట్స్ నథింగ్ బట్ కెల్విన్ సైకిల్ సో ఇన్ డార్క్ రియాక్షన్ యు నో దట్ బేస్డ్ అపాన్ డార్క్ రియాక్షన్ వీ హ్యావ్ త్రీ పాత్వేస్ C3 త్రీ పాత్వే అక్కస్ ఇన్ సి త్రీ ప్లాంట్స్ సి ఫోర్ పాత్వే అక్కస్ ఇన్ సి ఫోర్ ప్లాంట్స్ సి టూ పాత్వే అక్కస్ ఇన్ సి టూ ప్లాంట్స్ రైట్ నా లెటస్ డిస్కస్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ వీ హ్యావ్ కెల్విన్ పాత్వే సో హియర్ లెటస్ టాక్ అబౌట్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ వెరీ ఫస్ట్ పాత్వే ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ కెల్విన్ పాత్వే ఆర్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ సి త్రీ పాత్వే okay when we start with the cycle i'll give you other names it's also called pcr also called rpp anyway first let us discuss about introduction how people have identified and discovered what is called c3 pathway where it occurs it occurs in c3 plants it occurs in case of c3 plants now let us talk about the discovery how the people have Uh, made discovered uh, kelvin pathway now let us talk about introduction that is discovery so all together discovery is been done by a combination of three great scientists uh, eminent scientists who are the three scientists here we can start writing melvin kelvin and andrew benson andrew benson and also james basham now all together the great effort goes to melvin kelvin now because of his wonderful discovery of c3 pathway the people have won nobel prize so they got awarded with the nobel prize for the wonderful discovery of a c3 pathway now if you take the c3 pathway so if you take the c3 pathway here now let us see that how three people how these three scientists have discovered about c3 pathway now initially they have done experiment on what i said they have done experiment on algal photosynthesis which algae they took so very very importantly they took what is called as chlorella very very important which algae they have done experiment chlorella so what they have done in the experiment is let us discuss the experiment in this they have taken a culture containing they took the culture culture containing algae which algae that is chlorella so culture means what they do here they add nutrient media so nutrient media is added meaning nutrients are added into this so it is called culture media culture media now into this what is grown here algae is growing here algae is growing to when algae is growing algae is undergoing the process called photosynthesis after some time after algae undergoing photosynthesis melvin kelvin along with his associates james basham and andrew benson all together they have done the experiment they added boiled methanol highly boiled methanol they added to the culture media so the culture media is added with boiled methanol and it has made so there is it killed it killed algae so it destroyed and killed algae okay then the contents of this the contents of culture media are allowed to are allowed to made it fall on 
paper chromatography chromatography contents of culture media separated by using a paper chromatography but the first and the most important step if you look at guys in this initially in the first step in the very first step when they are taking the culture media they added carbon dioxide which is labeled with a radioactive isotope so they have done the experiment by using a radioactive isotope what is that radioactive isotope c14 they introduced into carbon dioxide now carbon dioxide what they have added into the culture media for the algae to undergo photosynthesis algae took the carbon dioxide what is supplied in the very first step but that carbon dioxide having a radioactive isotope c14 so carbon dioxide inserted in carbon dioxide carbon is labeled with a radioactive isotope c14 so this experiment is done by using a radioactive isotope nothing but what a c14 very very important so that means carbon dioxide is having c14 a radioactive isotope then what happened after that when they killed algae by adding boiled methanol by this time algae already undergone photosynthesis by making use of carbon dioxide c14 later the killed uh, content of destroyed content of algae separated by paper chromatography i think guys i already told you paper chromatography at the time of pigments i told you pigments are separated with the help of tlc thin layer chromatography i think you remember tlc so in this they get separated all with the components right and later so whenever you get the question that the destroyed contents of algae are separated by using the technique called paper chromatography then later the separated compounds are identified by separated compounds identified identified by using another technique called as auto radiography by using another technique called as auto radiography okay so whenever you get what are the possibilities of getting question here so in because they were awarded with the nobel prize that's in discovery part for the c3 pathway what are the possibility of getting questions in the melvin kelvin experiment the content of culture media are separated by if you get the question that's by using the technique called paper chromatography then separated components are identified by using another technique called as auto radiography now with this what they identified they identified that in this the first stable compound with this they could able to identify the first stable product is a three carbon compound that is pga what is pga again i'm writing phosphoglyceric acid how come they identified the first stable product is phosphoglyceric acid because they found that it contains three carbons and three carbons which are present in a pga they are labeled with c14 so three carbons which are found here they are labeled with c14 that means carbon dioxide is first get reduced into product that is nothing but what pga so the made wonderful discovery that is the first stable product what is identified in this is pga which contains three carbons they found all three carbons are labeled with c14 that is a radioactive isotope supplied in the form of carbon dioxide for the algae to undergo photosynthesis so with this experiment they came the conclusion that the first stable product 
okay so first stable product which is produced here having three compounds that's why they call the pathway as c3 pathway or itself they call this as c3 cycle so this is a wonderful discovery made by the combination of all three scientists that's the reason why they are awarded with a nobel prize okay so let me quickly give you once again the introduction and we will continue with the pathway the kelvin pathway c3 pathway occurs in case of c3 plants uh, who are the scientists who discovered this pathway melvin kelvin andrew benson james marshall all these three people have studied this pathway they were awarded with nobel prize now coming to the part of experiment they took they studied algal photosynthesis the algae what they studied is nothing but chlorella they took the culture media in the culture media what they have added is nothing but nutrients culture media containing the algae algae contains uh, what are called here algae undergo photosynthesis but in the very first step in the initial step here this step is done by using radioactive isotope that is nothing but c14 c14 inoculated into carbon dioxide so what the carbon dioxide they supplied having isotope called c14 so when carbon dioxide is supplied algae undergone the photosynthesis right and later they added highly boiled methanol to this and kill algae now destroyed algae the contents of destroyed algae the contents of culture media later they separated by a uh, using a technique called as paper chromatography with the help of paper chromatography they could able to separate the compounds separated compounds are identified by another technique called as auto radiography so the two questions here separated by means paper chromatography so this is the possibility of getting a question separated by paper chromatography identified by auto radiography so these two questions are very very important and finally when they see that which is the what is the compound they identified in this very very important discovery what they made the first stable product is having three carbons that is pga what is pga phosphoglyceric acid in this the carbon is labeled with c14 that is radioactive isotope that means carbon dioxide reduced to form the first product that is pga having three carbons that's why the pathway is called c3 pathway also called c3 cycle as a melvin kelvin is a scientist who discovered also referred as what a kelvin pathway now let us discuss about kelvin pathway and a c3 pathway what we have to continue our discussion now let us study the total cycle a cycle itself is called c3 cycle also called as c3 pathway also called kelvin pathway also is also referred as here it's also called pcr cycle also called as rpp cycle so why it is called with different terminologies what is meaning of pcr cycle pcr cycle meaning photosynthetic carbon reduction cycle carbon reduction cycle that itself is called as pcr cycle and rpp meaning it's also called as reductive pentose phosphate cycle reductive pentose phosphate cycle so why do you call with the different terminologies we will see now kelvin is the one who discovered that's why it's called kelvin pathway pcr cycle it's called photosynthetic in which carbon dioxide is reduced to form sugars 
that's why it's called photosynthetic process in which carbon reduction is taking place that's why it's called pcr cycle meaning photosynthetic carbon reduction cycle pcr also called as rpp cycle meaning reductive who is reducing here primary carbon dioxide acceptor who is that rubp how many carbons it has five carbons so reductive pentose means rubp rubp is undergoing reduction and having a phosphorus so it's called reductive pentose phosphate cycle rpp cycle right now all together the kelvin pathway includes the three phases or the three stages what are the three stages the very first one is called as the first one is called as carboxylation the second one is referred as reduction then followed by the third one is referred as regeneration so guys concentrate here this is very 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 important very very important c3 cycle we call or we call c3 pathway very very important so pay attention and concentrate here so this pathway includes all together three stages in this first step is uh, fixing atmospheric carbon dioxide that's why it's called as carboxylation then this carbon dioxide is reduced so second step is called reduction reduction we call then there is a regeneration of uh, primary carbon dioxide so let us discuss step by step and the total cycle is very 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 important so guys again i'm telling you concentrate this is very very important for the final need we definitely have a question we get it from uh, c3 pathway so we have chance to get the question on the final need every year we have the question in the final need paper definitely we have a question on the final need paper and for the board exam also c3 pathway is completely total pathway in that each and every step is very very important okay so let us start with this pay attention listen carefully note down all the chemical reactions practice number of times if you are thorough with the c3 pathway is you can have wonderfully have one or two questions on the final need okay let us take the first step first phase of kelvin cycle is called carboxylation let us start with the first one carboxylation and then after we'll continue one after the other so what happens in carboxylation here is initially six molecules of carbon dioxide is fixed from the atmosphere with the help of a six rubp what is that rubp rubp it's called as a primary carbon dioxide acceptor what is rubp what is the question we get it on rubp it's called a primary carbon dioxide acceptor meaning who accepts carbon dioxide in the first step of photosynthesis in dark reaction in kelvin pathway who is the primary carbon dioxide acceptor who accepts carbon dioxide in the first step that is rubp it has five carbons and it is a pentose sugar nothing but a ketose sugar very very important rubp is a acceptor of carbon dioxide right then also with six molecules of water right now this reaction takes place as a result of this reaction there is a formation of 12 molecules of pga so 12 molecules will write number of molecules produced are 12 so what is produced here 12 molecules of pga so what is the question pga has how many carbons three carbons so what is the question to remember here so what is the question pga is considered as a first stable product first stable compound or first stable product which is produced first stable product or first stable compound produced in kelvin pathway it's nothing but what pga having three carbons what is rubp 
ribulose 1,5 5 biphosphate what is pga pga is nothing but phosphoglyceric acid is nothing but phosphoglyceric acid very very important how many carbons it has three carbons it's called a triose compound meaning three carbon compound right now what is the enzyme which is involved here the enzyme which is involved here it's nothing but very 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 important the enzyme which catalyzes this reaction is called rubisco very very important what is that enzyme that enzyme is nothing but what rubisco so earlier in biomolecules we already have discussed so rubisco is nothing but what are the important things to remember rubisco is nothing but most abundant protein in the entire biosphere did you remember most abundant protein in the entire biosphere what is that that is nothing but rubisco very very important most abundant bio protein most abundant protein is rubisco where it is present it's present in stroma of chloroplast it is present in stroma of chloroplast then if you look at it accounts for it accounts for 25 to 30% of soluble proteins in leaves okay why because this is an enzyme rubisco it's nothing but it is an enzyme okay it is an enzyme it's nothing but a protein that's why we say it's a most abundant protein we call where it is present means present in stroma of chloroplast it accounts for total amount of proteins if you present find in case of leaves in that rubisco alone contributes 25 to 30 percent of soluble proteins in case of leaves that's why it's called most abundant protein in the entire biosphere now if you observe rubisco rubisco has a two enzymes rubisco has this is an enzyme which you have to write this is aroma it has dual nature why do you think it has dual nature it has two enzymes it has two enzymes what are the two enzymes c and o what is that r u b p carboxylase oxygenase oxygenase what is that rubisco it's called ribulose 1,5 biphospho carboxylase oxygenase meaning two enzymes are there that's why it's a dual nature means it can react with carbon dioxide because it has carboxylase enzyme it can also react with oxygen because it also has oxygenase enzyme it can play dual nature because it is having a combination of two enzymes what are they carboxylase and oxygenase what is that ribulose 1 5 by phospho carboxylase oxygenase which catalyzes the first reaction that is called as carboxylation see in the first reaction how many things are important there are so many things are important who is the primary carbon what are the possibility of getting questions we have quite good number of questions right what is the first question who is act as primary carbon dioxide acceptor what is the answer are you bp having five carbons pento sugar it's a keto sugar what is are you bp ribulose 1 5 by phosphate so what is carboxylation fixing atmospheric carbon dioxide so look at the reaction six molecules of carbon dioxide reacts with six molecules of primary carbon dioxide acceptor that is RUBP takes six molecules of water now this uh, reaction is catalyzed by enzyme rubisco and produces 12 molecules of PGA what is PGA phosphoglyceric acid it's a triose compound it is having three carbons it's nothing but first stable product produced and that is very very important question then who catalyzes this reaction means rubisco rubisco is also we have very very important questions we'll get it on rubisco 
what are the possibility of getting questions most abundant protein in the entire biosphere the answer is rubisco and where it occurs means the stroma of chloroplast why do you call it most abundant because it accounts for 25 to 35 percent of soluble proteins especially in case of leaves and it has dual nature meaning it contains two enzymes what are the two enzymes RUBP carboxylase means it can react with carbon dioxide it also has oxygenase it can also react with oxygen what is that Rubisco this is nothing but first step called as carboxylation right I hope everyone got it 6 carbon dioxide 6 RUBP 6 water catalyzed by Rubisco first product produced is 12 molecules of PGA having 3 carbons that is why the pathway is called C3 pathway that is why the cycle is called C3 cycle. Now let us continue for the So, out of the three phases, first one we completed that is carboxylation is completed, right. Now, let us go with the second step. What is the second step under the second this one? Reduction. Now, let us see reduction. Now, reduction which occurs in two steps in this case, it takes place in two steps. Let us take the reduction process. Now, in this the first step is phosphorylation in this the first step is phosphorylation now what happens in phosphorylation what is the first uh, the compound which is produced here 12 molecules of PGA phosphoglyceric acid having 3 compounds now it reacts with phosphorylation means it needs energy how much energy 12 molecules of ATP utilized in this reaction very very important it produces it produces a 12 molecules of 1 3 by phosphoglyceric acid by PGA so here 12 molecules here also 12 molecules and remember this reaction happens with the help of an enzyme called as phosphoglycerokinase phosphoglycerokinase remember whenever ATP is utilized that reaction is called as phosphorylation and definitely there the enzyme com comes here it is called as kinase what is the name of the enzyme name of the compound itself is name of the enzyme so what is this compound this is compound is called as by phosphoglyceric acid glyceric acid 1 comma 3 by phosphoglyceric acid what is the meaning of this here from the ATP ATP is being utilized here so 12 ADP will come from each uh, compound will be having there is an addition of 2 phosphorus molecules 2 phosphate molecules how many carbons PGA is having 3 carbons so this is 3 carbons so, how many phosphate molecules are added for each compounds? Two phosphate molecules. Where phosphorus is attached to the first carbon, right, and to the third carbon. That is why we say 1, comma 3. Are you getting me? Right? So that is why it is called as what? First carbon, first phosphorus is attached to the first carbon, 1. And next phosphorus is attached to the third carbon 1 comma 3 how many phosphorus are attached 2 phosphorus are attached by by phospho 2 phosphorus by phosphoglyceric acid right that is why we write here 2 phosphorus added in the first carbon third carbon by phospho 2 phosphorus are added that is why we call 1 comma 3 by phosphoglyceric acid remember this reaction is being catalyzed by phosphoglycerokinase right next 
next step of in this reaction itself is called as itself is called as reduction the second step itself is called as what reduction now in this case what happens 12 molecules of what is the end product here 1 3 by phosphoglyceric acid now we take 12 molecules of 1 3 by phosphoglyceric acid this compound reacts with 12 molecules of NADPH2 this act as a source of energy 12 molecules is very important now now this reaction catalyzes and as a result it lead to formation of 12 molecules of G3P plus 12 NAD plus. So, this is very very important this is also having a 3 carbon compound very 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 important. Now, what is reduction here? In reduction end product of phosphorylation is 1 3 by phosphoglyceric acid. This 1 3 by phosphoglyceric acid whenever it reacts with NADPH2 that reaction we call it as reduction. Whenever NADPH2 comes into the reaction itself is called as reduction. It uses 12 molecules of NADPH2 energy and converts itself into a 12 molecules of uh, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. What is G3P? Glyceraldehyde a 3 phosphate. What is that compound? Very, very important. What is that compound? Glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. That is short form we call G3P. Where is the phosphorus position here? Phosphorus is being attached to the third carbon as it is it produces 12 NAD plus. Now which catalyzes this reaction? Name of the uh, compound itself is name of the enzyme glyceraldehyde 3 phospho dehydrogenase. Okay, glyceraldehyde 3 phospho dehydrogenase. Guys, as I told you, questions will be interrelated with the enzymes. Questions will be interrelated with the enzymes. Now, what are the possibility of questions here? Phosphoglycerokinase, which catalyzes phosphorylation, belong to which class of enzyme? What is the enzyme class? This, en this enzyme belong to which class of enzyme? We have in six classes of enzyme we studied, no? You remember isomerases, ligases, lyases, hydrolyses and all that, right? So, this particular enzyme belong to which class of enzyme? That may be the possibility of question. Guys, you need to recollect once again, you need to study about enzymes, complete chapter, practice all six classes of enzymes along with the chemical reactions and see that this enzyme falls in which category of the class belongs to enzymes, right? That is your responsibility. Note down the answer and try to remember in your mind, revise enzymes. As I am telling quickly, guys, you know that we have studied, I told you to revise cytology. I told you to revise anatomy, right? These are the chapters which are interrelated with the second year chapters. When you are studying this chapter, along with that, if you revise first year chapters, you will become with the perfect concept of the total second year along with the revision of first year no question can trouble you on the paper. So, what is the question I am giving to your mind here? This enzyme belong to which class of enzyme? Right? Now, similarly this also belong to this also belong to which class of enzyme? Right? Now, if you take we have all together two steps are there in reduction. Now, if you look at in this reduction process how many steps we have? All together phosphorylation and reduction we have. So, let us come back with the quick revision of this. We are in the discussion about Kelvin pathway also called C3 pathway, C3 cycle. You know it is called PCR, why? Photosynthetic carbon reduction cycle also called as RPP, reductive pentose phosphate cycle. Right? Now, this is very very important guys, compulsory we will get questions on the final need. So, make sure that you listen. Today itself after you listen to the class, make sure that you practice these reactions and try to send me WhatsApp because this reaction is very, very important. Guys, you send me the practice sheet of this to my WhatsApp number double nine one two five six five nine zero six. You send me a WhatsApp 
with the practicing uh, 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 what you call practicing papers having start of the reactions first one carboxylation next one reduction will continue with the next class regeneration so guys i expect everyone to practice and send me the papers in which first you practice read thoroughly understand the concept practice it in one sort wise in a white paper try to write without seeing these reactions on a white paper and send me whatsapp the white papers in which you have written without seeing the reactions of kelvin cycle try to send me to my whatsapp number and the people who does this kelvin cycle because very very important cycle who practice and who will write without seeing who will send me the pictures pics to my whatsapp number they are highly appreciated because all of you i know you people very well right you people are highly appreciated because very very important pathway guys i expect after listening to this class you complete your preparation today itself hardly how many reactions i give carboxylation first step uh, reaction i have given you then second one reduction third one uh, second one reduction in that again two reactions hardly three reactions right we'll continue next class with the regeneration even that also you have to practice and get it to be right i am telling you your hard work is highly appreciated so guys so in this kelvin cycle we have all together three phases three stages very 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 important final need we have compulsory question and compulsory we have a question on the final board exam also so carboxylation we studied six carbon dioxide plus six rubp plus six water gives rise to what 12 pga that is carboxylation first reaction right then followed by second one reduction in this we have again two steps what is the first one phosphorylation remember wherever in the entire reactions wherever you get atp if it is utilized the reaction name itself is called phosphorylation you guys have to remember so in phosphorylation 12 pga molecule that is end product of carboxylation now it will react with uses utilizes consumes 12 molecules of atp atp is involved that's why the reaction is called phosphorylation so here this is three carbon compound now it produces end product 12 molecules of 1 3 biphosphoglyceric acid with the release of 12 molecules of adp okay so all together this is also a three carbon compound how many carbons we have three carbons what we are adding atp atp supplies phosphate here two phosphoruses are added for each compound where they added first carbon added with the phosphorus third carbon added with the phosphorus these are nothing but positions of the phosphorus we call 1, 3 how many phosphorus two by phospho two phosphorus 1, 3 by phosphoglyceric acid is produced along with 12 adp now this reaction of phosphorylation catalyzed by phosphoglycerokinase so here i left one question for you this enzyme belong to which class try to find out okay and that will come under uh, as reduction occurs in two step this is the first step called phosphorylation who catalyzes this uh, reaction name of the compound itself is name of the enzyme so we take phosphoglycerokinase next followed by there is a utilization and conception of another source of energy called nadph2 wherever nadph2 is consumed the name of the reaction itself is called as reduction in reduction you can know that 12 molecules of what is the end product here 13 biphosphoglyceric acid 12 molecules of 13 biphosphoglyceric acid reacts with 12 molecules of nadph2 what is the name of the enzyme here name of the enzyme itself is name of the compound produced that is g3 phospho dehydrogenase this also belong to which class of enzyme that i have given you the question find out now what is the end product produced here 12 molecules of g3p what is g3p glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate plus 12 nad plus guys whenever you get the question that what is the question a first sugar molecule a first sugar or a first triose sugar produced in the kelvin pathway means the answer will be g3p first triose compound means pga will come so this is a first triose compound 
now this is the place people always have a confusion what is the you think you have to look for in the question first stable compound or the first triose compound meaning pga you have to look for suppose in the same question if the question is first sugar produced or first triose sugar produced is nothing but g3p not pga what is g3p we call it as glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate why do you call 3 phosphate phosphorus is attached to the third carbon and it is a sugar it's called triose sugar this is a triose compound a small correction will be there People will do the question and they will come in and ask me, ma'am it is triose, sugar is asked, I wrote PGA, it's correct. No, in the question triose compound means PGA will come, triose sugar means G3P will come, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. So these two reactions are very very important, both will come under reduction. So out of Kelvin cycle we have three phases, carboxylation, reduction, what is the third step we have? third step is nothing but regeneration right so this this is the thing which we have to continue with the next class we will continue with the next class what is that third one regeneration so for what we have completed here is nothing but carboxylation is the first step and reduction is the first step make sure that you practice because kelvin cycle is very 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 important so what is the third step we have to continue for the next class regeneration